Hey, what's going on guys? Willis here, back with another Genshin Impact video. So, real quick one for you guys today. I wanted to do a quick video on my Constellation 6 Zhao and was it worth it? But before we jump into today's video, uh, this stream Friday, we're actually going to be wishing on the Kaching banner for a lucky viewer. So get this video to 2,000 likes, support it with a comment down below. We're going to be picking from the YouTube comments and the Twitch chat. So make sure you're there at 3 p.m. on Friday, London time. So for anyone that actually wants Kaching for some weird odd reason, we'll be uh, wishing for you on your account. But yeah, Zhao. So I made the decision finally to get Constellation 6 Zhao. And I'll be honest, I was kind of lucky. Like I didn't have to spend thousands of dollars. I'll be honest. It was, I think I got four Zhao's in a row. And then the last two were kind of unlucky. So you can kind of see here. Uh, we got Zhao, and then I think before this it was like Kaching or Jean. We didn't we didn't get lucky. We did it on stream uh, on the Discord. So basically, we had that we had like the whole Discord watching, and uh, yeah, so we had Jean, and I think the one before that was Kaching. But before that, we got four Zhao's in a row, so we got pretty lucky. So it was nice. Um, we didn't have to spend thousands of dollars. So. I can give you guys that Constellation 6 full review because I've been playing for a few days now. So I guess first off, you probably want to see my artifacts and stuff because what I'm going to do at the end of this video is I'm going to show you some Constellation 6 gameplay without me talking. So here's my artifacts. We've got a two set Gladiator. Not too bad. This one's actually really good. We got 25% crit damage, 6% crit rate. And then for the flower here, we've got a Viridescent Flower with 14% uh, crit damage, 10% crit rate, 10% attack damage. And then this is just sort of our filler slot here. We've got a really good Sands of Eon. And yeah, the crit damage, the crit rate, really good. Uh, the Goblet, we've got an Animo Damage Goblet. I've been meaning to upgrade this, but yeah, the Gladiators don't really drop much Animo Goblet. So yeah, I'm just kind of stuck for now. And then here we've got a very decent uh, Helmet with crit damage main stat. And for my stats, I have around 70% crit rate and 165% crit damage with 111 energy recharge. Now, first off, Zhao by, Zhao by himself absolutely destroys. He is a one-man army. Like, he does incredible damage by himself. I was shocked at the amount of damage he did just having him Constellation Zero. Now, obviously, I forgot, probably forgot to mention my weapon, the Primordial uh, Jade Wing Spear, the five-star. Uh, the five-star weapons are broken, and yes, that probably did make him a bit more broken. But the amount of damage he's actually able to output in a short amount of time is ridiculous. When you start getting constellations on Zhao, I think he becomes one of the best characters in the game. Obviously, getting any constellations on five-star characters is overpowered. But Zhao, Zhao turns into a completely different character when he reaches constellation six. Zhao's constellation six is very, very cool. It's called Conqueror of Evil, Guardian of Yaksha. Now, basically, whenever you, I'm just going to give you the short version. Whenever you use your plunging attack in your elemental burst, your Yaksha mode, and you hit at least two opponents, this will grant you one charge of your dash. And for the next one second, you can use your dash while ignoring its cooldown. Yeah, so it's pretty busted. You pretty much have unlimited dashes for like two seconds. He basically goes from being a plunging attack. Like basically, before you get Constellation 6 Zhao, your main damage will come from plunging attacks over and over again. When you get Constellation 6 Zhao, he, be <laughs> he basically turns into a dashing character and you pretty much get most of your damage from doing your dashing attack. So it would work like this, you jump, uh, land on the target and then dash. And each one of your dashes, bear in mind, is doing like 50k, 40k, 30k even in rapid succession. So imagine three or four dashes with that much damage. It gets pretty insane. And the new Spiral Abyss is actually perfect for Zhao, as you'll see towards the end of this video. But overall, do I think my Constellation 6 Zhao was worth it? Yes, I think so just because I didn't have to spend thousands of dollars and I got him pretty quickly. Do I think he's one of the best Constellation 6s in the game right now? Yes, 100%. Easily top three. But I'm going to leave you guys with some gameplay of Zhao in action. Once again, be sure you're there on Friday. 
uh, it'll be at the pinned comment, my Twitch channel. Uh, we're going to be wishing on the ka Mana. So, yeah, if you want ka for some weird, odd reason, then yeah. Um, and if all else fails, you'll get Bennett, the second best character in the game. Uh, but also as well, big shout out to our sponsor, guys. We are sponsored by Logitech. So if you want to pick up any Logitech gear, be sure to use my links in the video description and the pinned comment. Currently, right now, I'm actually using the G915 10 keyless keyboard. It's light speed, which basically means it's wireless and you pretty much don't have any wires and it's extremely fast and responsive. My favorite keyboard in the world by far, just because it's the 10 keyless version, Logitech do make the larger version as well if you are interested in that. From using it from like the past year, this is definitely one of the best keyboards I've literally ever used and I use it every day. It's amazing. Use my links, go pick up Logitech gear. They're an awesome partner to the channel and by doing so you will support me and it really does help out. But yeah, enjoy the gameplay guys. I'll see you in my next video and peace.